Hello, I'm Greg. Welcome to my channel, Midnight Oil Software. I had one of my viewers request that I do a tutorial on time concepts, specifically how to freeze time in a Unity game and then resume playing again. So I thought, since I've already actually implemented this in several of my games, I could just really quickly give an overview of how that works. So if we switch over here to my desktop, you can see that I've got my Galactic Empires project. This is the actually the very first Unity game that I wrote from scratch um, back when I had taken the Harvard Intro to Game Development course through EDX. It was my final project for that course. Uh, but I'm going to show you how I can pause the game and resume it. Um, so I'm going to start playing here. We'll say start game. And then it will load the initial scene. Now, if I was to hit F9, you can see the game is paused. And then if I hit resume, it will start playing again. All right, so I'm going to show you how I did that. So I've got this pause manager here. And I'm going to open that up. And basically I'm in update looking to see if I press the F9 key and then if I do I call this toggle paused state and basically if game is paused I resume otherwise I pause the game so what do I do in pause game um, I have a little boolean here for whether or not I want to show this um, pause screen so this is actually just a canvas here that I'm going to turn on um, and then I want to disable the main canvas in that case. Um, I want to pause the audio listener. So what this does here is any audio listeners will just stop listening. They're, they're, they're going to stop playing uh, any sound. So if you want music to continue playing when you pause, there's actually something you can put on the listener to tell it to ignore the pause state. Um, so this is the magic right here. This is where you actually pause time or freeze time in this case. I'm setting time dot time scale to zero. The Unity engine will not call update anymore or handle any updates and for frames while this is zero. You could also set this to a number, um, a floating point number to either speed up time or slow down time. I think you can even reverse time with this. Um, and then I set this flag here, game pause equals true. So you set this value to be the rate at which you want time to be processed by the Unity engine. So zero is obviously frozen. We're not processing any events. This is just going to be a pause in the execution of the game. You can speed up and slow down time with this field right here as well. In this case, we're just setting it to zero. So we are effectively freezing time. And then when I resume the game, I just set that back to one. I turn off my pause screen. I turn on my main canvas and so forth. Uh, that is the example for my Galactic Empires game. I do something similar in my Ninja Eggs game. So let me go ahead and play that. And we'll just pick an interesting level here. Let's see the Crazy Cats level. You can see I've got this little pause button up here. If I click that, you can see the game is paused. I display this pause screen. I can continue. Um, I could also restart and pick another stage, or I could actually just quit the game. And so once again, we'll go, <coughs> excuse me, we'll go into this pause screen and look at what happens when I pause the game. Um, I'm setting time scale to zero again. Uh, in this case, I'm waiting a second before pausing the audio listener. Um, and so this was a coroutine, so I could do this wait for a second right here. Uh, when I continue playing, I just disable this game object. And you can see in on disable, I'm setting the time scale back to one. I'm telling the pause listener to unpause itself. And I'm telling it to stop playing the pause music. Um, it's interesting that I, I basically, uh, when I did this, I wanted it to play pause music for a second before I stopped listening. 
Uh, it's been so long since I did that, but I think that's interesting that I did that. So hopefully you found that interesting and informative. So if you want to pause your game and resume, there's an example of how you can do it. And if you did find that interesting and helpful, do me a favor and click like and subscribe. It really does help to grow my channel. Uh, and I do want to get this content in front of as many people as possible. Thanks so much for watching and good luck on your game development journey.